So VRChat will soon be upgrading to Unity 2019. What does this mean for you? Well, if you don't make VRChat content, not too much. However, if you're an avatar or world creator, you're going to want to start testing your content and migrating your projects to Unity 2019. While most currently uploaded content should transition perfectly fine to this new Unity version, there may be some cases where content will need a re-upload. To test your content in the Unity 2019 open beta, head to your Steam library. Right-click on VRChat and click Properties. Select Betas and then select the Open Beta branch. VRChat should then automatically update to the open beta build. You can then launch the game to see if everything works as intended. Oculus users can access the beta too. Log into Oculus.com and visit the VRChat page in the store for the headset you're using, either Rift or Quest. Then in Details, click Version, then Open Beta. The app should then update to the open beta build. Next, let's move on to migrating your project. Currently, VRChat will be using 2019.4.28. The VRChat team has stated that they may upgrade to a different version of Unity 2019 before the full release, but this won't have any effect on any 2019 content you upload during the beta. I'll have the correct Unity version linked in the description for you to download. Next, before you do anything, and I cannot stress this enough, BACK UP YOUR PROJECT! Although upgrading projects this time around is fairly painless and it's very unlikely anything will go wrong, it's still possible something could happen which messes up your project. <coughs> which is why you should back up your project so you don't lose all of your precious work. It's as simple as copying and pasting your project folder and adding 2019 to the end of it. Next, if you're upgrading an SDK2 or SDK3 Avatars project, import the 2019 SDK before upgrading. If you're upgrading an SDK3 Worlds project, this will be done after the Unity upgrade. Currently, the 2019 SDK can be found in the VRChat Discord under Open Beta Announcements. If the 2019 update is out when you're watching this, download the SDK straight from the VRChat website. Add your project to Unity Hub. Open it, and once your project is open, drag in the 2019 SDK. Close Unity once you're done. Two more quick things before upgrading. First, if you're upgrading a project that uses Udon Sharp, do the following before upgrading. Open your project in Unity 2018. Open a new, blank scene, and then save. This is done to prevent scripts from losing references and becoming corrupted. Second, if your project uses cloth components, you're gonna have to do all this shit before upgrading in order to not lose your cloth components. Alternatively, you can use a cloth transfer tool created by Hi, which can also help preserve cloth. Next, we can finally move on to upgrading the project. Add your project to Unity Hub if you haven't already, and set the project to the new Unity version. Then, click on the project to open it. A prompt will appear asking if you want to upgrade your project. Select Confirm. During the upgrade process, you may have a few prompts pop up. For Asset Database version upgrade, click Yes. For opening a project in non-matching editor installation, click Continue. For API update required, click I made a backup, go ahead. The whole upgrade may take a while, so be patient. Once the upgrade is complete, Unity will open and you can access your content. If you're upgrading an SDK3 Worlds project, this is when you'll import the 2019 SDK. And with that, your project is now successfully upgraded to Unity 2019. You can now take advantage of all the amazing new additions to Unity 2019, such as a refreshed UI and... God bless my eyes, the fucking dark mode.